So I found this Casio that no one seems to be talking about here on YouTube. And with its standard bracelet, it just looks like another digital Casio. However, swap out the strap for a $10 leather and you have a budget Cartier tank. Let's get started. If you're anything like me, you love the look of the Cartier tank. However, you don't have Cartier tank kind of cash. Now I could stretch my budget to get one. However, with it being a dress watch, it would only get occasional use. And I'd personally rather put my funds into something that would get more wear. I'd personally consider consider the Cartier Tank as one of the classiest watches in the world. Usually they come in smaller case sizes, without a run in seconds, and ooze is nothing but style. There's something just so sophisticated about wearing a stunning small case Cartier. That's where the Casio AQ230 in gold steps right in and gives us everything that the Cartier does, for a fraction of the price. In its standard formation, I'd consider this a typical retro-inspired everyday Casio offering. It's super clean, versatile, and a little bit flashy, which is great to wear with a t-shirt and jeans. However, I spotted something that I thought could turn this $20 ticker into a genuine beauty. Because the lugs of the Casio stick out of the case, it allows for a standard strap to fit the watch, something that doesn't work sometimes with other Casios. And because this watch is rectangular, it means that the 18mm lug width looks in proportion, which again is something else that tends to look odd with Casios. So I did a bit of research. Typically gold cased Cartiers come with a black crocodile grain leather strap, so I headed over over to Amazon and found a $10 strap that looked very similar. I clicked the order button and here we are. I'll leave links in the description to both the watch and the strap if you're interested in picking this little classy combo up. So let's get into what you are here for, the $20 Cartier Tank Killer. Let's talk about the wearing dimensions, all of the functions of the Casio, and it has quite a lot for such a small watch. And finally, is this genuinely a good alternative to the Cartier Tank? Let's go. Firstly, let's take a look at the size of the watch and see how it stacks up against the Cartier. The Casio AQ230 comes in with a 30mm case diameter, which by modern standards is considered small. However, because of the rectangular case, it wears much better than the diameter would indicate. Typically, a Cartier tank would have a case diameter of about 25mm. The tank is naturally a small watch, and that's why everyone loves it. So we get a bit of extra width with the Casio, giving it slightly more wrist presence. Next, the AQ230 comes in with an 8mm thickness, making it feel like it disappears on the wrist. When reviewers talk about a watch fitting under the cuff, this Casio is top of the pile. Modern tanks have a thickness of 6.5mm, again making it slightly slimmer than the Casio, but they're still in the same ballpark. Finally, the Casio has a 40mm lug to lug, giving this watch a decent enough size that should work on almost any size wrist, for a dress watch anyway. The tank comes in with a 34mm lug to lug, which makes it the biggest difference in the size comparison. So although the Casio is bigger in all dimensions, it's by no means a big watch. If anything, it just gives the watch a bit more existence with the wear experience. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Sure, the Casio has a similar K shape and size to the tank, but it doesn't have the Roman numerals and the white dial that we see on the Cartier. This isn't what you'd consider a homage to the tank. Instead, Casio have designed their own version of a small multifunction dress watch. Instead of Roman numerals, we have printed black stick markers. This doesn't mean we sacrifice elegance though. The Casio comes with a beautiful light gold vertically textured dial, which from a distance isn't even noticeable. However, when you come close, it is absolutely lovely. If you're looking for a genuine Cartier lookalike, Casio do have other options that have the Roman numerals that are much more on the nose with the design cues of the tank. If, like me though, you'd rather have a watch with its own design ideas, then the Casio is just a perfect combination of having some of the tank makeup that makes it so elegant with Casio's very own twist. Moving on, the Casio AQ230 comes with an acrylic crystal. As this is a form of plastic, it will pick up scratches very easily easily over time. However, if you pick up a $5 tube of Polywatch, you can buff them out very easily. Of course, on the tank, we have a piece of sapphire, which is miles more scratch resistant than acrylic. The Casio also has a plastic case and the Cartier comes in stainless steel or sometimes real gold. But this is what you'd expect from both brands with the price point of each watch considered. Now, surprisingly, one area that the Casio beats the Cartier, in my opinion, is the movement. Inside the AQ230, we have the Casio module 1301. Now, I can't find much information regarding accuracy or battery life on this movement. However, typically Casio modules like this have a 3-5 to five year battery life and are within 30 seconds per month. With the Cartier, it's again hard to find the exact numbers about the movement. However, it is just a quartz like the Casio. Cartier does describe the movement as high accuracy quartz, so it should be more accurate than the one inside of the Casio. However, considering the Casio is 100th of the price of the Cartier, you'd certainly expect this. Both movements have a two-hand display. However, one huge benefit of the Casio is the digital display at the bottom, which gives us 
high functionality that the tank simply cannot compete with. Next, let me show you how much this beautiful little Casio can do. Because although it is small, it packs a massive punch. So as you can see, we've got three buttons. We've got two on the left and we've got one hidden on the right hand side. Now we have five uses with this digital display down at the bottom and we control these five uses by this top left button. So the first mode is our home time mode. As you can see, currently it's set at 1537. If you want to change this, you just hold in the bottom right button and that will allow you then to change through each of those numbers to get the time that you want. And then the second mode, if you click the button in, it's going to take you to the day date function. If we click in the top button again, we can go to our next mode, which is our alarm function. Again, you set this by holding the bottom one and you can scroll through and choose your time. The alarm will only go off once a day for 20 seconds. And to get to the next mode, we click the top button again, and then that will take us to our second time zone. You set it just like you set everything else by holding the bottom one down and choosing your time. And if we click the top button again, that will take us down to our stopwatch. You start the stopwatch by clicking the bottom one in, and then you can pause it by clicking it again. To reset the stopwatch, you just hold the bottom button and it'll go back to zero. And then if you click the top button once more, it will take you back to your home time zone. Now you might be thinking, what's this button do then? Everything has been on this side so far. Well, this right hand button will actually control the analog display. So when you click the button in once, it's gonna change the minute hand. It's gonna move it forward really hard to do because it is hidden so that you don't knock it and change your time by accident. In fact, it's so hard to do that I can't actually do it with my, uh, with my thumb here. So you probably have to use a pen lid or a pin or something like that. If you press it once, it's gonna move it forward half a minute. If you hold it down, it's gonna go really fast. So if you need to change the time fast, you hold it down. Now the supplied gold bracelet is actually pretty good. Usually these folded style bracelets have a full on warm with my arm hair, but on this occasion, it seems to have made peace. So if you wanted to wear the watch as an everyday option, that would certainly work with the supplied metal strap. However, if you are looking for the elegant look, the cheap $10 one off Amazon is surprisingly good. It has a thick thicker padded section towards the case of the watch, then thinner towards the buckle end. The quality is decent and it should last for a while. The leather inside is nice and comfortable. The stitching looks to be to a good standard too. You can probably see that I forgot to get the one with the gold buckle, so make sure you look out for that. Finally, let's talk about the most important thing. Is the Casio a genuine budget replacement for the Cartier tank? Well, let's be honest. If you're in the market for a Cartier tank, you aren't just going to bin that idea because Top Tier Ticker has shown you a $30 Casio. You don't buy the Cartier tank because of its great quality quality or amazing functionality. The tank is a genuine piece of jewellery and has been a sign of class and success for a number of years. Now although this Casio won't get a little nod of respect from rich folk who appreciate anything that's expensive and exclusive, it will certainly get you a tip of the hat from any watch enthusiasts who know a good watch when they see one. Because although this Casio is only made from plastic, it packs a big punch with its functionality and elegant looks. The HU230 with a black leather strap like this would not look out of place even in the sharpest of black tie events. It could very easily be mistaken for a tank, or even a JLC Reverso for that matter. It has the same understated yet brilliant design that these icons are so popular for. So if you're looking for an occasional dress piece that is unquestionably elegant, check out the Casio AQ230 and pop it on a nice black leather strap. If you liked this video, then be sure to watch my video here on screen on discontinued watches that still offer incredible value.